Bye. As promised, this video is kind of checking in on how I'm doing with all three of my goals so far here in the month of February. So last uh, month, I made a series of videos on goals that I have for 2024. One of the goals was building 10 pounds of muscle. I had a baby about a year and a half ago and I felt like I had lost a ton of muscle definition <laughs> since then. So that was one of my goals. Uh, my second goal was teaching myself and my daughter Spanish simultaneously. Not complete fluency, but just enough to kind of communicate. Um, and then the third goal that I have for 2024 is decreasing my uh, family's debt balance by $35,000. And doing little video check-ins like this is also going to help me, I feel like, stay accountable to my goals throughout the year. So in regards to the first goal, putting on 10 pounds of muscle, I felt like January went really well um, through the beginning of February. Um, and then in the middle of February, I got COVID for the first time. So it's kind of crazy. I'm a nurse and my husband is also a nurse, but we somehow managed to avoid COVID, you know, through the initial pandemic and for the past four years. It really <laughs> definitely put a damper on my goal of gaining 10 pounds of muscle. Like I'm not really exercising right now. I've been taking it easy. Um, I just started doing like gentle yoga <laughs> um, to kind of get back into the swing of things. I feel totally better. I know I still sound pretty congested, but like I, I feel good. But yeah, so yoga is kind of the most intense physical activity I'm doing at the moment. You know, that's kind of how I've been slowly getting back into mobility and activity and movement. <laughs> So 134.3 pounds is definitely <laughs> lost some weight since my 138.5, but I was kind of expecting that, you know, just with like not working out at all since I got COVID. So, I mean, now I'll just have to get back on track. That's the important part. <laughs> Yeah, today is definitely kind of a chilly day, so I'm just gonna cook some lunch, and then while the baby naps, uh, going to practice Spanish, do a little bit of yoga, and also get some light cleaning done. So goal two for 2024 is, as I mentioned, learning Spanish while simultaneously teaching my toddler daughter as well. I've been re-watching the Johnny Harris and Nathaniel Drew videos on their um, Bright Trip How to Learn a Language course because um, those videos were what initially inspired me, so I'm trying to get my inspiration back up to kind of get back into, you know, learning Spanish. So this goal has been slow going. I have to admit, you know, also when I started to not feel good a week and a half ago, <laughs> um, you know, doing daily Spanish lessons, even just like on Duolingo was like the last thing that I really felt like doing. So kind of just getting back into the swing of things now. I really feel like, you know, if I stick to it for the rest of the year, I'll see some good results. It's weird, learning a second language is kind of like the ultimate achievement for me for some reason. Like, I just feel like it is the ultimate example of picking something and sticking with it. Just like starting this YouTube channel and, you know, continuously making videos, even though I don't see a ton of traction, I feel like that's also an example of just picking something and sticking with it. 
I have a fairly good track record with setting goals like that and making things happen. I became a nurse, even though I am definitely not a math or science girl. Um, <laughs> stuff does not come naturally or easily to me, but here I am a nurse. And then my daughter, you know, I've made video a video on this, but I have stage three endometriosis. I battled with infertility for years, but I really, really wanted to have a kid. So I researched it, threw myself into it, did all the things that I needed to do and some of the things I didn't need to do. And you know, I was able to have my daughter. So I really feel like, you know, persisting is something that I do <laughs> well. <laughs> So goal three is decreasing our debt balance by $35,000 this year. I mean, this one, technically we're a bit behind. So looking at our updated debt board for February, we've so far paid off $1,627 in the year of 2024. And technically, you know, if you divide $35,000 by 12, that means you should be paying off $2,917 per month. So, I mean, technically the amount that we've paid off or decreased our debt balance by is lower than that, but we did just do our taxes and we're supposed to get a pretty sizable refund uh, this year. So, you know, I'm not too worried. I think we can get back on track with that one. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Rebecca. Hi. <laughs> this channel primarily documents my family's journey to get out of nearly $130,000 worth of debt. And so my channel, I make videos on ways that we're trying to get out of debt, frugality, intentional living, small space living, minimalism, all those kind of things to really pay attention to what's important in life. You know, not having to worry about bills um, would just give my husband and I a lot more freedom to to pursue what we want to in life. So the month of February is a low buy month. So even though we can, you know, get food out, we basically are still making all of our food at home. Uh, so we have some leftover vegetarian chili for tonight and I'm going to bake some cornbread to go along with that. So really this uh, goals update or vlog video, you know, the big takeaway is just persistence is what gets stuff done. You know, I really wasn't expecting to get COVID for the first time uh, this month and it definitely, you know, knocked me down a few pegs in all three of my goals. I mean, that's life. Like you just have to accept that that happened, acknowledge that that happened. And, you know, in this case, kind of very slowly and gently slide back into consistent habits uh, to get me to where I want to be by the end of 2024. So I hope that you guys continue on this journey with me throughout the year and you know for as long as it takes for me to pay off the debt that we're in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!